Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man uh, run where we are playing the better one of this mod. Uh, we're very soon going to destroy an alien relay. But since we haven't done that in a while, I just want to give you a bit of an overview about where we stand from our soldier and roster perspective. I think we're doing incredibly well. Uh, many of our soldiers have uh, reached the third highest rank, which in Long War is a big achievement, so now it really slows down quite a bit. We're having several bonds that are already being trained, uh, which is good. I like it, so that works out well. Um, our roster depth is deep, I would say. Our biggest problem is probably the status of most of uh, them. We only have a few that are available. Um, we do have quite a few that are lightly to mediocrely wounded. Then you can see we have many squads that are infiltrating, some bond training, covered ops of course, and normal training. And then this here is uh, the rest there, rather more intensively wounded um, soldiers. Since we have done almost too many missions in the last month, we're now at a situation where we're kind of suffering the backlash of, uh, of that. We're trying to heal everyone up, but you can see uh, the problem for some of them is that they already have cre um, negative mental effects, so probably the infirmary will soon start to become fuller and fuller as the first patient. So yeah, it takes a while. And you can see negative rate removal takes 10 days, which stinks. So we're probably going to continuously do uh, continue to do that. Anyways, time for Operation Stormwalk. We're simply going to destroy, uh, destroy an alien relay. In order to do that, we're having two Shinobis with us. Not the best team combination. Like I said, I will break both of them up into different squads. We got a Grenadier for uh, cover removal, Specialist as a supporter, and Ranger plus Sharpshooter as DPS. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And here we go again. Must have been a while since we infiltrated here. Pretty low hit points, so those guys do not even have uh, proper armor. Gotta destroy the relay. And we gotta move relatively fast. What we're going to do is... I'd probably like to use... Oscar Mike right away. That way everyone can start moving really, really far. I like the inner area here. Pretty solid high ground. We might want to. Uh, we might want to use that. Let's take a look if there are enemies within. None so far, which is good. Roger that. Moving in. Good. Moving even further. Thanks to Oscar Mike. We're having a pretty strong first round in terms of movement.
And a good position for a sniper as well. So short of the drone, nothing else is spotted out. I wouldn't want to lose our stealth just because of the drone. So maybe we can simply disable it and continue our adventure. Let's shut it down. even controlled it. Perfect. So next round it'll do nothing. I matter of fact like that we do have a second um, option to move over here because uh, there are very often enemies right there. Let's continue to scout. On the move. That's a dangerous move. But I still would want to do it. All right, haven't spotted anything. That's good. Which, in consequence, allows us to double move. And that's the real benefit here. The ability to skip us so much of the uh, of the distance. I almost bet you that within this train station there is going to be a peg. So having the option to ambush them from the side is helpful. We are okay timing wise. So, don't need to sweat it. That won't do it. They've got our position. Well, that was the worst shot ever. Let's try to get rid of the drone. All right, we can already see this here is the slapstick team. Apparently they decided that they want to troll instead of taking the whole thing a little bit more serious. Of course, two grazing shots. Look at that. Who would have thought? Copy that. Okay. Overwatching. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. 
Overwatch and Overwatch. Let them come a little bit closer. They should have heard the shots. Apparently they haven't. Unfortunately, not a line of sight. Hmm. Question of the day, are we going to let them come closer for one more round? Yeah, we can't hit them from up here. If you say so. Gotta be careful with the pack. Back online. We're getting into some good position over here. And not a problem. Although it's just half cover, I still like the idea that we can reach full cover next turn. We can become very, very aggressive by charging in with two melee characters. But for now, I like triggering them properly. Okay, not too bad. Let's start the series of 50-50. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. We wouldn't have uh, noticed that you did not get it. Moving to position. This here is a nice little flanking position. Let's kill the trooper. Are you kidding me? All right, fair enough. Let's move closer. Thank you. Good. This here should make short process. Position compromised. Good riddance. Very nice. I've got it. Advent forces sighted. All right, we could simply give him another turn, which I think we're going to do. Makes an awful lot of sense. Let's go, buddy.
Bastards. <laughs> okay. Air trigger and depth per uh, perception. That's pretty good. Going to give an aid protocol. That will reduce the hit chance by 20%. 50-50 on the stun. Well, we're not being incredibly lucky with the 50-50s, that's for sure. That's right. Good, so we got one drone here, another drone there, a pack, uh, so that's five down. Moving a bit further. Heading Not out. sure why we can't revive with protocol him, don't we? Is it because we can't see him? Normally his stun should be easily removed. Good, let's move up here. Absolutely. And moving up here. Sniper moves into full cover over here. We still got plenty of time and there's only one more pack left. Good, moving in. Target spotted. We shortly had a view on whoever was here. For a really, really short amount of time, we were able to see someone. Good, we're getting into position. On the move. Still revival protocol isn't working. Scanning. Good, we can do get some next turn. Reinforcements are soon going to join us here. Sure thing. Putting ourselves in a position where we can 
see the target. On your order. Now we got it almost halfway down after one round. Good enough. Nice little overwatch. Perfect. Reinforcements are going to come in in two rounds from now. In One more round until Let's reinforcements. Got a nice evac request in. That way, uh, way we'll make sure that we're definitely getting out of here. Good, and now it is simply dealing with the uh, reinforcements. Did you spot us? Oh, barely. I was hoping he wouldn't. Alright, reload. Both barrels. Reloading Overwatch. Reloading Overwatch. Moving up there. Moving back here. Good. Only four more rounds and then we're out of here. Probably could have put the evac down even a bit earlier. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Overwatch. We're green to go. Reloading. It's killing time. Good. Everyone overwatches again. And this might be another flawless mission. The two shinobis weren't too bad. It worked out quite well overall. Alright, one more turn. There must be, by the way, another pick somewhere. There's the pack I was talking about. Alien reinforcements inbound. This is Firebrand. It's time.
Time to go. Perfect. Getting out of here. Copy that. Moving to designated position. Let's take another shot. I was hoping that we would at least get the one up upstairs. 50-50. No. It's just dodging everything like a pro. Well, we'll take care of him. There you go. And we got ourselves a promotion. as yeah, a nice little reward. Yep. Killed everyone. Flawless mission. Good job. Very nice, got four promotions. So let's take a look here. I like the field search, and that's pretty damn good. I also like precise shot. We're going to go with that. It's just a really good ability. Damn good ground, yes. But center mass is even better. I like the resilience piece means he can almost uh, assure that he's not getting crit which is super helpful for a sniper here we're going to go with formidable extra armor suppression isn't bad as well just as an option. But I think we're instead going for damn good ground because we are using high ground quite a bit and plus 10 aim is good, very good. Um, I like locked on. So we're continuing with that. That's good if we would uh, stay concealed. We're probably instead going with smoke because a, gra a bonus smoke is really just good. It's a good ability. It's worth 10 points. For middle bill here is definitely worth its, um, its points as well. That's good. That cereal is also good. Pretty decent soldier here. And we got ourselves some good loot as well. The PCS here is great. I like the hair trigger. Good job. Very good job. Okay, before we even continue clearing alien debris. 
Now that we got additional soldiers available. The game offers us additional loot and wants to keep us away from building uh, the radio relay. But that's okay. So, we still haven't infiltrated a lot, which means we're aborting yet another time to shuffle the SWATs a bit differently. We got two missions which we can infiltrate. Yep, abort the infiltration. And by the way, before we before we infiltrate again, uh, we need some money because I want to try to get two, uh, 250 together to actually start the infiltration there. Looks about right. Good. Because with that, we got even enough for additional equipment, but in the Guerrilla School, we can now. We do have an officer on major rank. In all fairness, it is uh, it is a fury, so he's not called a major, but we definitely have the rank. Oh, come on, F you. Good, we're going to get there eventually. I'll save the money. The idea was still good. Now let me get a team together real quick. Alright, easy enough. We still ended up with five soldiers, but this time we got a pretty decent team together. Just requiring some more armor here, and we're ready to go. Good. Hit points are uh, looking good. Yeah, we got a scout, um, lots of DPS, cover removal, and a support. So let's go. And after we've dropped that team, we might want to take a look at uh, the other mission. South Africa, in this one here. I'm pretty sure it was this one here. F yep, 50, uh, five days. Still enough to field a team of five people. All right, let me get another squad together. All right, here we go. Only four people this time. We could add a fifth one, but I'm not sure if that's really going to be sensible because we're going, uh, we would increase the amount of enemies by one pack. And by leaving just a few open, we got a nice little setup for yet another uh, squad that we can use. So 
So I think we're going to be fine here. Yeah, adding another operative would just add another pack, so that's not worth it. Let's go on with Operation Godslayer. Starting the infiltration now, back to our supply drop. Avenger plotting new course. Which will hopefully this time finish uh, going to finish. We do have another drop up here for assorted loot. That could be anything. Might be really good, so I will get it next and then we are continuing to build the radio relay. But before we do that, look at uh, look at the new mission three days 21 hours and it's a engineer reward mission rescue a defector let's see if we can pull this one off maybe with an intel boost let me double check that all right we're back this is going to be a tough one. We can only go in with four. Gotta extract the VIP. And we need to boost it. But if we do so, we're going to fight against 10 to 12. I think we can't afford a fifth soldier with a boost. Let's double check. Would that still get us above 100%? Uh, barely. Hmm. Let me think that through. So I played a little bit around with everything and I guess with that boost we would get to exactly 100% and uh, five people indeed would be a bit better than just four so we offloaded a few of the items got faster in return and would also fight only against uh, 10 to 12 enemies so we're definitely going to invest some intel to get the engineer 30 intel uh, for an engineer is well worth it And unfortunately, I just wanted to play it a bit kind of more calm. But the exact opposite happened were yet again queuing up missions after missions after missions. Rewards are coming in. And there is yet another mission. Great. Well, it's one day, 15 hours. I'm not going. I'm not even going to bother. Even if I could organize kind of two people, that would be too little of uh, too little time. Good. We got ourselves plenty additional supplies. That's good. Now let's get whatever assorted loot is over here. And then we're going to build the radio relay finally. Nice. We got a new freed up room. Plenty of supplies coming in now. Exposed power coal down here. That's exactly the type of excavation we'd like to do. That'll give us plenty of valerium and we can finally build another uh, power generator down there 
freeing up two further engineers. Wow, yet another mission. Eight days. Hmm. Recover item from a facility. Interdict Advent Military R&D. Hmm. Haven't done that in a while. It is eight days. So I guess how far is uh, the infiltration with the rest? Yeah, not really that far. Yeah, we need to continue infiltrating, guys. It is what it is. We can still do that mission. But we first need some of the other missions done. Laser sight, superior speed, and hair trigger. I like the superior speed. That is a super valuable item. Plus three speed. That's awesome. So in terms of soldiers and their availability, we are looking at like what? Shinobi assault, sharpshooter, gunner, technician. And we could get a, a specialist from the negative trade recovery. So we got enough people for the mission. You know what? F it. We're going to do the mission. We only lost two days on the negative trade recovery and we can still do that a little bit later. Plenty of plenty of options by the way to negative trade recover. Good, I think this one here was the new mission. Yeah, seven days, three hours, that's exactly it. Also counters a dark event. Which, the return fire, I don't know, I mean, it seems to be just for the Advent Priest, but... Um, I still don't want to have it. All right, took a bit of uh, modification, but we finally got the team together. Right for 100% infiltration. 13 to 15 um, enemies. It's gonna be a pretty nice mission, um, specifically since I haven't played the target yet, or I haven't played that sort of mission yet. We are bringing pretty much parts of the A-team here. Divert, um, plus Mike Bravo. We got Quick Feet here, as well as Dark Tower Noxus. And we got uh, two additional soldiers uh, with them, a Shinobi and an uh, Assault. So it should be a very well-rounded team. And since we're doing so many missions at the same time, I almost spent most of uh, the supplies now just to make sure that everyone has an outfit. Also sold a lot of corpses just to get um, the necessary resources. Continuing to build the radio relay station. Champion. 
Well, we're almost uh, there. Let's continue. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror. Yep, and there we go. We'll need to pay close Must launch. Uh, we could boost it, which we're going to do, and then we will we'll fight for the engineer. But that's going to happen in the next mission. Operation Morbid Heart is going to happen just in the next mission. It's looking good, guys. Overall, we're making a lot of progress. I'm particularly happy with the overall team that we've put together. We mixed and matched everyone. So the old uh, kind of prime team, second team, third team sort of structures are broken uh, but overall just the kind of seniority the the amount of experience that most of uh, the soldiers already have is very very good and we're even getting the squaddies uh, leveled up so average rank currently sergeant and above which is good it's good enough i hope that we can Start the recruitment sometime sh uh, soon, but apparently no recruits whatsoever are available. Ah, oh, which is bad. I was hoping we could get a bit of a, de a deeper roster. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the show, uh, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.